are separate. Yeah. Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the J2H channel. Uh, today we have a haul video I'm very excited for. I've been telling you guys about it, uh, well, only for like a day or two. Um, this is a haul from a closing uh, family video. Um, hopefully I've figured it out in post and I've put the, I just shot a little video, two or three little videos in the store and I'll have the price sheet up. But essentially, and for those of you who might not know, I hope you do, then the video is just a, it's a, uh, rental, the movie rental store chain, and it was actually in uh, Hillsdale, Michigan, which is where I grew up. This is actually the family video where I used to go and rent uh, WrestleMania 17 on VHS tape, uh, where I used to rent uh, and bought the VHS tape of like C Spot Run. Uh, this family video has always been my favorite. It's the one I grew up with, and I guess that they didn't close because physical media is dying. They didn't close because Business was bad. They closed because the Dollar General is moving into the town and made an offer on the building. That was it. And everybody was pissed. And uh, a lot of the people got offers to come to the family video in the city where I live. It's only a 25-minute drive. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, uh, they were closing. They had everything for sale. They had a whole section, which included everything but TV shows and new releases. They were 10 for 10, unless they are Blu-ray and they were buck fifty. So, everything on here... The prices aren't right. I'll tell you what I paid. Uh, I paid, I'll tell you, I paid less than 100 for everything here. Um, and we got stacks of, I bought physical media, I bought Blu-rays, I bought a DVD. Uh, yeah, Blu-ray, 4K, and DVD. Or, I'm sorry, digital codes. I bought some digital codes. So, and I'll try to remember to tell you what I paid for it, but essentially there's two or three things that aren't lumped into one category. So, excuse me. And if I look up, I'm look, uh, filming this during Monday Night Raw, uh, but if any of you are paying attention to the current products, you know I'm not missing much. So, first stack is uh, all digital codes. I'll run these through these real quick. Do the four Blu-rays and the 4Ks last, so that uh, keep you in suspense. But, so, when they sell their, their codes, they sell them in these, essentially it's a DVD case, HD digital copy, film, and then bring this to the thing, whatever. $4.99, this is the one I grabbed, the first purge. And they gave me these because they're throwing out everything. Uh, if For the Blu-rays, which I'll get to later, they open it up, take it out, put it in the real case, and they were just chucking uh, the plastics rental cases into the dumpster. I even made the comment, like, I really hope you guys are recycling these. She's like, no, nope, unfortunately, we're just right in the dumpster. That's a lot of plastic, man. Um, so the purge, the first purge digital copy here, $4.99, nope, 75 cents. All of these digital copies were 75 cents, and two of them were a mistake, because uh, they're iTunes only, but. So 75 cents for the first purge, not $4.99, 75 cents. This was the last one I needed digitally. Uh, and a movie I watched on MoviePass. Death Wish, 75 cents, not $2.99. Uh, one I missed on MoviePass. I don't think it came to my theater. Another MoviePass title I saw. 12 strong, 75 cents for all of these digital copies. Not a single one was out of, uh, was a different price. They're all 75 cents. So quite a bit of savings already. 12 strong with uh, Chris Hemsworth, by the way. Good movie. I watched that one with Movie Pass. Next up, another one I watched with Movie Pass. Ocean's 8 for 75 cents. I liked that one. Uh, this one was for the wife, Home Again, 75 cents. Not much savings on that one. Murder on the Orient Express. And on the back, it's like, I mean, these are clearly reprints. But it, it, there's a little synopsis. I don't know why the barcode is necessary. But it's just, these are just now, they're just going to be uh, extra uh, cases. I mean, I don't know what to do with them. This one is one of the first mistakes. This was on iTunes only. So if you need an iTunes code for this movie, I'll give it to you for like, I paid 75 cents. I'll give it to you for a dollar. Uh, I have it in, up in the code squad group for two. Uh, I feel pretty. 75 cents. Like I said, iTunes only, so it sucks. I use movies anywhere or voodoo. So, yeah, see, that one looks like it's a legit carbon copy of the back of the DVD. But then you get this, so. 
Next up was the second mistake, Molly's Game. And this one was such a shame because I love Jessica Chastain. And based on uh, certain features of the back, I was really interested in seeing this. But it's iTunes only. Again, if you need this, let me know. Uh, PayPal me a dollar and it's yours. The Post. Three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Um, this was right at the end or the beginning of Movie Pass, and I didn't get to see this one. This one I'm excited for. Uh, Paterno, the HBO film. I, Tanya. This one I watched with Movie Pass. Truth or Dare. Uh, worth 75 cents. Another one for the wife. The Mountain Between Us. I wonder if they mean, uh, Idris Elba's penis there. Uh, this one I've seen from HBO, Fahrenheit 451. This one is really good. Uh, I was tempted to buy the Blu-ray, uh, but they didn't have it. Someone had grabbed it, so I grabbed the code instead. And some of these with the codes, I made two trips because I had so many... I had so much crap, I had to make two trips. And um, I bought something the first round in the Blu-rays, and the code was 75 cents. So I was like, damn, I should have grabbed the code. But last code is uh, Widow's. So $0.75, cents. Uh, these, like I said, are all just cases. If you guys have a weird thing and want or need these, uh, I mean, I'd give them to you just for the shipping. So there you go. There's some empty cases. Uh, next up is the only DVD I grabbed. It's a TV show. Um, this TV show is awesome. I got The Sinner. So it says right there $1.99. These were two for, 50, uh, two for a buck. So I got the entire first season. Maybe I didn't. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a shame. Right on camera, I just opened this. I got one disc, so fuck that. I'm going to sell this for like a replacement disc. But anyway, that would have been cool. That's a super bummer. I'm down now. I'm sad. Uh, but 50 cents. Damn. Um, we'll do that next. Okay, so get past that. It was a DVD anyway. It was 50 cents. Uh, these are the blues I got. There's quite a bit. Oh, total, by the way, in the count, there's 50 titles. I don't know how it was so even, but it was. Um, these first two were, again, the, the $1.99, so they were 50 cents. So these two were two per buck. Um, the Belco Experiment, which I have been anxious to see. I almost bought this on Amazon the other day for uh, $7. So that's all. Now I got it for 50 cents. Man, I'm fucking pissed about that. I should have checked. Why don't I check things? Um, Attack on Titan, part two. 50 cents. I've been wanting to check this show out. I have no idea where to start. I know there's a show, and then there's a movie, and then there's another show. There's two movies? I don't know. Um, but this one again, uh, it's missing a disc. I think it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. So that's the other thing about these. Uh, the halls, it's going to seem great, and it's going to seem like I got a, a bunch of stuff for pretty cheap. Um, what Family Video does is they sell the blue, or they, when they buy a Blu-ray to rent, they they break it down into pieces. They, they rent the Blu-ray, they rent the DVD, if it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and they sell the code. So when you buy a Blu-ray from Family Video, you're buying the Blu-ray. So even if it says Blu-ray DVD combo pack on the top, you're only getting that Blu-ray. Um... Which is what it is. I mean, again, these are a buck fifty. Even if I watch them once and get rid of them, I mean, shit, they're, they're cheaper than to rent. So, next up, I talked about in my uh, my vlog, the most recent one, which I dropped on Sunday. You guys need to check that out if you haven't. Uh, this one, this I got in the case because uh, I got the 4K without the Blu-ray in it. So now I have the Blu-ray of La La Land there. So I paid a buck fifty for it. Oh well, I'm gonna put it right in that 4K. If I like La La Land, then I have the whole set and I don't have to rebuy it now, thanks to that generous donation. Or now I can sell it as a full set, minus the slippity. So now these are all one dollar and fifty cent Blu-rays. Um, I'm not gonna review them because I've never seen. I don't think I've seen a single one of these, with the exception of one. So I just, there's a small reason, or I just picked them up to flip. There's not many I picked up to flip. I'm rambling now, uh, and a lot of them were the 4Ks, so, uh, first one is Unsane, see, so Blu-ray, DVD digital, a buck fifty, not the two ninety nine, but again, you just get the, the Blu-ray, so, I mean, it is what it is, 
But again, for a dollar fifty, even if I get rid of this for a dollar fifty, it's like a free rental. So, uh, and then some of them aren't Blu-ray DVD combo packs; they're just Blu-rays. So, I mean, it's, it's like a you got it for whatever. So, Unsane, never seen one. This is the specific title I was talking about when I said should have bought the code for seventy-five cents. But heard good things. Heard, pardon me, mixed things. So. I'm looking forward to checking that out. I always think that's uh, Bira Formiga there. Always. Like, just the look of it. Am I the only one? Let me know what you think. Clearly it's not. It says right there. But. Uh, next one has been on my watch list. Bad Times at the El Royale for $1.50. Uh, Jeff Bridges, Dakota Johnson, John Hamm, and Chris Helmsworth. So, again, uh, no Blu-ray or no DVD, but for $1.50... Uh, next one, Upgrade, another one I missed from MoviePass, but see this one, Blu-ray Digital, so it's like a full set there, boom, buck fifty. Vendetta, starring The Big Show, okay, I'm gonna get this for $1.50, it's probably ass because I've never heard of it, even though I watch an ungodly amount of WWE television weekly, Vendetta, 2015, I might not have been watching, I know I wasn't watching. Next one is a recommendation from BBG, Boothbag Greg. Uh, I think he recommended I pick this up at a Big Lots for five or three. So now I got it for a buck fifty. So Dog Eat Dog with Nicolas Cage and Willem Dafoe. So I think this one's just a Blu ray too. Yep. Next up, I haven't seen this one either. Uh, Love me some Emily Blunt, The Girl on the Train for a dollar fifty. Uh, no DVD. friend request this one is to flip because I have the code for it uh, the disaster artist with a pretty effed up cover art there I gotta replace that yep it's just the blu-ray so pretty cool the disaster artist for $1.50 this one the cast in this looks awesome I'm hoping it's not poop uh, last flying flag Steve Carell, Brian Cranston, and Lawrence Fishburne. So two people from two of my favorite TV shows ever. Uh, Heisenberg and Michael Scott. So pretty cool. Just a Blu-ray there. Next up, Detroit with, uh, oh, I forget his name. He's Finn. What's his actual name? Not going to tell me. So Detroit. Legend starring Tom Hardy and Tom Hardy. Uh, this being the only reason I grabbed it, because I like Tom Hardy. Same with Locke. Colossal, starring Anne Hathaway, Jason Sudeikis. Jason Sudeikis. Easy for me to say. This one was newer, I thought. Now 16. I don't know why I thought this was newer. Buck 50. Uh, this one I've heard good things. Again, I say good things, but I've heard of it. I just can't remember if it was good or bad things. Um, and it's Suspiria with Dakota Johnson from Fifty Shades of Grey. Graphic nudity. So, $1.50. I think I heard of this one because, if I recall, it became disc to digital eligible the same week it was released. So, I don't think it was good things I heard from it. But it was $1.50. Uh, next up, Free Fire. With Brie Larson. Again, the only reason I grabbed it, $1.50 Brie Larson. Uh, no idea what this film's about. Let me know if it's good. This one I'm excited about. Uh, it's a Disney title that I got for a dollar. I believe it's Disney. Yeah. Disney or Touchdown. Bridge of Spies with Tom Hanks. Um, it looks like it's Disney. Maybe Disney owns Touchdown. Uh, this one I wanted to see. Uh, I was actually, we were in line to the theater, uh, we were down in Texas, and we just decided either the line was too long or we were hungry. So I can't remember why, but the, it was a free showing too, and I really wanted to watch this and we didn't get a chance to. So now, I'm going to check out Bridge of Spies. Shot Caller with uh, Jamie Lannister, or however the fuck you pronounce his real name. Pretty cool there. Dark Crimes with Jim Carrey. Well, you can't tell, but I swear that's Jim Carrey. It says so, see? Next up. So, uh, Rick 
down to movie grab this and I was looking at it and the more I looked I was like dude look at the cast in this film uh for a buck 50 again not 2.99 uh Casey Affleck oh my god good luck pronouncing that man. Aaron Paul Anthony Mackie Woody Harrelson this looks awesome triple nine uh next up I keep saying that I apologize I'm gonna stop Arizona with Danny McBride 2017 I, I keep thinking these are old or they're newer than they are uh, I think this one's a more serious role, but I, I still like me some Danny McBride. Searching with uh, John Cho. 18, okay. These ones I'm just going to add to my... I think these ones are considered horror, but a lot of these I'm just going to watch during Halloween. This one, Friend Request. Maybe Colossal. Just hoping they add to the... Uh, the Halloween marathon. Uh, this one I'm excited about. Just the cover excites me. And I've heard... This one I've actually heard good things about. You Were Never Really Here with Joaquin Phoenix. Like, dude, that cover's badass. Look at that. I hope I'm not super wrong and he's like a pushover or a fucking wuss or something. But, like, this looks dope. I don't know. I'm excited. This might, this might hop right to the top of the line. Uh, the Forest with Natalie Dormier there. I think this one's about the haunted forest in Japan, or I'm super far off. Let me know. I know my wife had heard of this one, so. Last up for the regular blues, uh, and this is funny that this is last. This is the only one I've seen of this uh, whole stack. Uh, Devil's Do, uh, which came out uh, a while ago. My wife and I were dating, and there's a pretty uh, NC-17 story about my wife and I in this movie, so I had to get it. I literally just got this for $1.50 to... Uh, to show to my wife, you know, because it's a, it's a gag film. The reason we have that story is because neither of us were interested because this movie's poop. Hot poop. All right, now I've got the only TV series I bought on. Dude, I'm so pissed about that Sinner thing. My, dude, I should have checked. What an idiot. Whatever. Uh, the only show I bought on Blu-ray, um, this being Taboo. Again, didn't pay $7.99. I paid $4.99. No. Yes. Four ninety nine for this on Blu-ray. TV shows were four ninety nine or buy two for eight, which the center didn't count because it was, um, it was already a buck ninety nine title. So, Taboo. Starring Tom Hardy again. Now this one again, Blu-ray DVD combo pack, but uh, it just it's just the Blu-rays inside, but it works out because it's got the two, so it doesn't look like nothing's missing. Um, this is a show I wanted to watch. I think it was an FX show. Um, like I said, with Tom Hardy, he looks a lot like, uh, Raven there in the front, which is pretty cool. Cool beans. Four bucks. Um, and then we're getting to the 4Ks. Not a ton, but the prices on these were amazing. So, this they gave me, I wanted this just because. Uh, these are the cases where they sell their, uh, or they, they rent their 4Ks. And I'm a 4K guy, so I had to get this for the collection. I love the Ultra HD sticker. The fact that it's orange and they, you know, orange means 4K. Which they could have done black, but whatevs. <clears throat> so, the first title is Skyscraper. Oops, hold on just a moment. Yep. Skyscraper featuring The Rock, starring The Rock. Um, yeah, so this was $2.99 regularly priced to, to buy. I got it for a buck fifty. A buck fifty for this on 4K. Again, just the 4K code. Uh disc. But I own this on 4K already, full set with a slip, so this is not for me, this is to flip, to sell, to sell to one of you guys if you're interested. Size skyscraper there. Uh, next up, same scenario, Solo on 4K. Uh, again, uh, same price for this one. And this one is weird because they gave me, apparently, bonus stickers. So I got the 4K code, disc, and I have the blue, what, fuck. That's the Blu-ray uh, bonus disc there with the additional content. I'll flip that over. Fucker. So yeah, I mean, it's cool. Now I got, I mean, there's one in each. But that's the flip. I have this, again, the full set with the slip because that's how I am, uh, even though I don't think this movie is the best. So again, for one of you guys, if you wish, holla at your boy if you want it. 
Next one I might watch before I sell. Um, I haven't heard anything about this. The Shape of Water on 4K for a buck fifty. Again, just the just the 4K, but for a dollar fifty. Next, I have heard of, and this is the last one I got it for a dollar fifty. I think I'm gonna definitely watch this before I get rid of it in any way. Uh, and that's again, I do have the code for this, but this is Dunkirk. Uh, this sounds and looks apparently it's an award winner. This um this movie sounds awesome, and I really want to watch it in glorious 4K. Um, and I think this one's the same thing. So we got the 4K code and the Blu-ray special features disc, which is awesome. So, yeah, Dunkirk for $1.50. Uh, the next two I paid full, not full price for, just not $1.50 for. Um, these, this was a new release still. This is First Man starring Ryan Gosling. I always think that's Ryan Reynolds, but it's, it's not. Um, this one was a new release, so the 4K for this was... This one was $3.99 because of a pricing error. $3.99 for a, the first man. Again, uh, 4K only. This one looked good. Um, I think it'd be hard for me not to watch any film right now in 4K. I'm just... Uh, I like the format. I like, I like using my home media um, unit. My home media theater. There you go. So... It'd be, it's it's hard for me to pass up on a 4K, and I had heard of this one, so it was like a no-brainer for 4 bucks. And last film here uh, is the new release. This one I didn't get for the price match glitch. I got this one for $4.99, uh, and this one's relatively new as well. Uh, Hunter Killer, starring Gary Oldman and Gerald Butler. Is it Gerald? Gerard? It's Gerard. Gerard Butler. Uh, 4K only, like I said. This one was... F this one's the, the one I paid the most... No, that's not true. I paid the most for Taboo. This and Taboo are the same price at four ninety nine. So, I mean, not crazy good on the price, but mixed with everything else, like, I feel like I did okay. So there's the... Uh, that's, that's the haul. There's your 4Ks there. Except for Taboo. That's a show. Uh, uh, if I can do this... Be like Rick and Joe Martinez here. There you go, look at that. Except my hall's way bigger. Mm, the forest is in there somewhere. There you go. Nope, these are not like backwards and shit. Upside down. Are they upside down? No, you should be good. The center. So pissed about that. God damn it. If you would like to donate the center to me. No, I'm just kidding. Um... I don't know if that's something I would add to my shelf anyway, but for 50 cents. Excuse these are empties. Bloop. So. Oh, and one more thing. Hopefully you stuck around. There, I did buy this. Uh, check it out. This goes on the top of their displays, so I'll go this way. So if you've ever been in, been in there, this sits on top of their display, and it's for the TV series. You can rent, you know, a dollar each disc, or three for each season. Um, so yeah, I bought this for like a buck. The lady couldn't figure out how to ring it up by itself, so uh, I didn't have a dollar in cash, which sucked. So someone donated a dollar to me, so I got this for free, uh, which was cool. She, she couldn't figure out how to ring me up for a dollar. I'm like, charge me for anything in the store. I just won't grab it. I'll think of a sign. She's like, no, I have to charge you 10 and then discount you 9 And I was like, but pretty cool. Thank you so much if there's no way she's watching this. But if you ever find this, uh, thank you for this. This is going in my room above where I keep all my TV shows. So pretty cool there. First thing I bought for the collect. Well, this will probably go on display too just because of the sticker. So that's everything. 50 titles from a closing family video. Uh, thank you guys if you watch the whole... Well, thank you guys anyway. But thank you to those who watch the whole thing. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm quite close to a 1,000 subs, which is the goal for the year. Um, let me know if you're want if you interested in some of these titles. Like I said, I'm trying to at least watch them first. If they make the shelf great, if not, oh well, I didn't spend that much money. Um, especially in the 4Ks, because those ones I am getting rid of. Those are duplicates. But yeah, let me know which one I should start with. Like uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be You Were Never Really Here. 
But let me know what I should start with in what order, you know. Give me some ideas. Let me know if one's good. Let me know if one's terrible. Pretty sure Vendetta's not going to be great. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Links to everything in my description. Twitter, Instagram, eBay, Letterbox, TV Time, Blu-ray.com. I'm everywhere, man. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on YouTube.